Hi, I'm Jamie from Somerset Web Design and today I'm focusing on how to add a blog post to WordPress using the Avada theme. I shall now go to the dashboard in WordPress by just clicking on the dashboard link at the top left of your page and then we shall go down to where it says posts so this is where we create a blog post hover over the post link and you can either create a new post add categories and tags we'll look at these two near the end of this video so we're going to create a new post so we just click add new so we're on the add new post page and the uh, well, a notice, noticeable difference is the category box on the right hand side of the page which we'll look at in a moment we always begin by adding a title of our post try and make it descriptive and include your keywords posts are critical to the success of your website and are a vital part of your search engine promotion strategy Google is looking for fresh content on a regular basis so we recommend you add a blog post as often as possible or at least once or twice a month for demonstration purposes, I will create a blog post advertising my services as a website designer in Somerset. In the blog post title, just here, I describe what the post is about and include any necessary keywords. Therefore, I could write website designer offering great value websites in Somerset. Note that I've included the keywords website designer and the location of my services in Somerset. When users on Google search for the term website designer in Somerset, Google would take these keywords in the title into account to rank my page on Google together with other elements on this page. If you want to create a quick blog post, you can just enter your text and images into this large description box here or you can turn on the fusion builder which will give you the structured boxed um, layout options so before we we'll just enter a bit of text here please enter the description of your post here you can write as much text as you like the box will enlarge and then you can also insert images by clicking the add media button there and adding images from the library or you can upload them from your computer. I suggest that um, periodically you click save draft under the publish button and that would just save your changes without having to publish it because if you click the publish button it will automatically promote your post to your Facebook or Twitter accounts, whatever you have linked just here under where it says publicize and my blog is linked to my Facebook. So I don't want it posted at this stage to the uh, Facebook account. You will notice that the permalink has updated and includes the category that we've checked on and the page title here which you can edit and include more keywords if necessary by clicking the edit button but we shall leave that for the moment i like to include a image on the um, website to accompany the blog post just makes it look a bit more interesting so if you scroll over to the right and scroll down you'll find a featured image box this is where you can add a featured image and that will appear on your website with the other blog posts and just make it a little bit more engaging. As you scroll down the page, you'll see the excerpt field. This is where you can add a summary of your blog post and it overwrites what the WordPress system automatically puts in on the blog page with the other posts. Looking at the tags box on the right, the tags are not keywords but rather words which can group posts together. I may use tags such as WordPress or e-commerce on all posts which mention e-commerce or WordPress services. 
Therefore, I'm linking all the posts with this search word on my website. Should a user click this WordPress tag link, which appears on my website's post page, then all the posts which include this tag would display in a list. You can use multiple tags separated with a comma to describe key elements of a blog post and link them to other posts with the same tag. So here I shall type in WordPress and I shall just press enter on my keyboard and you'll see the tag below. If I wanted to link that to another post, I would edit the other post and select the WordPress tag, which I've just created. Under the Yoast SEO section is where the title and description that appears on Google can be edited using the Edit Snippet Editor. I shall go into more detail about this in another video. So for now, scroll to the top of the page and just have a look at the publish box on the right. This is where we can edit a few options before we publish the page. We could set the, um, the default is for the post to publish immediately when we click the publish button, but you can click the edit button to the right and enter a date in the future. So um, if you were to do multiple posts on one day, you can stagger the post and it, they will automatically be posted on the day that you select. So we just leave it to post immediately and then you would click the publish button and that would publish your post to your website onto the news page and also onto the Facebook page automatically with any images that you've uploaded. You don't have to publish a page um, if you're not ready to. You can always click the save draft option and then return to the post to edit in the future. You can always create your own categories by clicking on the add new category option here and also under posts there's also the option to add categories here. That's it. I hope this video helps you post and edit blogs. Please subscribe below and check out some of our other video tutorials.